What's going on guys, welcome back to another banger. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best dribble sigs for a ball handle under 80. Before we get into the video, me and you guys could like and subscribe to the channel. Tell us what notifications you see in my banger so as they come out. And let's get right into this. This is going to be a pretty short video today. To be honest, I don't want to bore you guys with the gameplay at the end. Because I know nobody watches it. You're just going to get these dribble sigs. You're going to go on with the day. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get right into them. This is going to be extremely short. We're going to head over to the dribble sigs. And you can get all the dribble sigs in the animation store here. It doesn't matter if you're on current or next gen you're still going to want the same dribble sigs because it is in fact the same dribbling system either way so some of these are can are only able uh, like some of them the people use are uh what i'm even trying to say i'm trying to say that stuff like the moving behind the back like damian lillard people with 85 ball handles still use that so some of these you can use for both but other ones like you just you don't use if you have a higher ball handling so you technically are still at a tiny bit of a disadvantage but if you go over 80 ball handle you pretty much get every single dribble stick in the game and when i hit 99 on my play stretch i'm going to hit over 80 ball handle so that's going to be a pretty cold when i get it. i'm going to be a dribble demon but let's get right into these we got dribble style shifty i tried a bunch of them actually wait no dribble power power i don't know i'm bugging right now Dribble power, power. I meant to put that on. I was trying out shifty power. I think it's the best. You know, you dribble the ball the hardest, the fastest. You know, that's what always my high school tells coach tells me. I got to be dribbling that ball hard. So that's why we got power. Signature size ups. We got D book. I tried out a couple of them. Uh, tried out some of the fastest ones. And I think D book works the best. That's what a lot of people think as well. We have signature combos. We got Luca. And pretty much everyone uses Luca. I don't know why. It's just Luca. He's the cover artist or the cover athlete obviously they're gonna make his the best uh we got lebron james really size escape pretty much everyone is using this here like it's just pretty op i guess i don't know everyone's using it i guess it's just the best one the fastest one you know what i'm saying so oh dang my phone's gone but um we got moving crossovers we got pro here yep uh i tried i thought lebron was pretty fast when i first hit it i don't know lebron is getting a lot of love here he's getting a lot of love but you know, I, I, you know, I thought his was the fastest, but then I checked out Pro and I was like, honestly, this might work better in game. Honestly, I don't think it really matters which one you use. Honestly, LeBron might be a little faster, but most people are using Pro here, so I'm gonna recommend you guys Pro if you want to try out something different. Go with LeBron. And then moving to behind the back, obviously everyone is using Dan Lillard. It's the fastest. It just works the best overall. Like, look at that thing. It is so fast, so fast behind the back. It's obviously so good a lot of people are using basic or normal fully spins i have normal on right now honestly it doesn't really matter it's really only used for the spin back and they're basically the same thing you really just want to have one of these on i think normal might work a little bit better but it doesn't really matter if we be honest presentations these are pretty important uh for 80 ball handle you don't get the best ones um so pro is what you're gonna have to deal with i tried out rondo rondo is working pretty good i think his is pretty fast but pro ended up being better uh, so yeah, that's what I went with. Um, and then step backs, I went with CP3. Honestly, when I first checked him out, I thought Jason Tatum was going to be better. Because honestly, it looks somewhat similar than his. It has a little more of a step back than CP3's. But to be honest, you really don't want that step back there. You kind of want a quick animation out the step back. It looks like CP3 has a quicker animation there. And the triple tip styles, to be honest, this really doesn't matter. I just picked normal 5. I saw someone else using normal 5. I was like, all right, we're going to use normal 5. It's really just where you hold the ball. I don't think you're really likely to get ripped more or whatever if you do have it in a different position but if you guys did enjoy today's video it'd mean a lot if you guys could like and subscribe to your channel turn on post notifications so you can see my banger as soon as i come out i'll see you guys in the next one later